Y'all must see some what? Ladies and gentlemen, this is your opening contest on NAWA Big Time Pro Wrestling, Texas Tough. It is set for one fall. Introducing first, he is from Parts Unknown. He is the Widowmaker. His opponent comes to us from Dogtown, Texas, USA, the American Mad Dog. That's set for one fall, and Speed Bump is your referee. All right, thank you very much, Bullman Downs. Always a pleasure and an honor to be here right beside you, the illustrious career you've had in this great business. And this opening contest here between someone we've seen an awful lot of, the All-American Mad Dog, former college football star who took to the wrestling ring. His opponent, we don't know much about him. In fact, we don't really know anything about him. He's mysterious. He is the Widowmaker. You know, uh, Widowmaker from Parts Unknown uh, is, is I, I tried to talk with you back in the dressing room. Uh, very quiet and and very reserved in 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 the back, uh, but uh, certainly seems to have a bit of an aggressive streak here in the ring, Rob. Well, I, I I'm familiar with one wrestler in the past who called himself Widowmaker for a time, but. He didn't wear a mask, and it was no secret who he was. Uh, that was the one-time alter ego of a great wrestler by the name of Barry Windham. I remember seeing him as Widowmaker elsewhere. But this one, totally mysterious, but right now it looks like the Mad Dog is having his way with him. Widowmaker with an attempt to put a boot in the, in the jaw of the Mad Dog in the corner. Mad Dog able to move out of the way and uh, take advantage of the Widowmaker with, his, with the predicament he was in. Well, I think one thing Widowmaker is hopeful of is hopefully Mad Dog has had his shot, so hopefully he won't get any distemper or anything like that. And well, you know Mad Dog's fans are pretty rabid. Well, indeed they are. But, well, sometimes his opponents think Mad Dog is pretty rabid himself. Right now it looks like we're going to see a test of strength here. And there he goes after the arm, digging his fangs right into the forearm of the Widowmaker. And now putting a twist into that wrist lock. And once again, trying to take a chunk out of that arm. Referee with a count of four. And the American Mad Dog breaking, up, breaking the bite before, before the count of five. I think Mad Dog, is, Mad Dog has missed a feeding time. Leg drop on the Widowmaker, and so far it looks like this is all Mad Dog on top of the cover, but Widowmaker gets that shoulder up. All American Mad Dog, a little lackadaisical in the cover there. It took him a, took him a little bit to get over and, 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 and put the Widowmaker's shoulders on the mat for the referee to count. Uh, you know, you gotta gotta have a little more speed to you than that, American Mad Dog. We know you're a, you, we know you can do better than that. Mad Dog, very aggressive here. Widowmaker off the ropes, and neither man goes down. Here comes Mad Dog. Runs right into the Widowmaker. He still just stands there. Long tackle at that time. It took the masked man off his feet. So let's see if the Mad Dog can follow up here. He's taking time to rally the fans behind him. He'd better be careful because Widowmaker could sneak up behind him at any time. All-American Mad Dog taking time to, to celebrate with the fans, but giving the Widowmaker just enough time to plan a new strategy and a, and a clip from the front on the left knee of, uh, on the right knee, excuse me, of, of the American Mad Dog. And now the Widowmaker is working on Mad Dog's left leg. He's got a firm hold. He's gonna have a, a variation of the DDT on the leg there, a knee DT, if you will, because it does tend to uh, try to separate the joint from itself. You know, Rob, that is an unusual movement because when you watch that, the Widowmaker hooks that leg underneath his underneath his uh, underneath his shoulder there in his armpit, and when he when he drives it down, that causes the knee to raise up and then drive back down into the canvas. Right now, the Widowmaker with a with a almost an inverted crash and another meaty tee, as you call it, Rob. 
And Mad Dog is in some serious trouble right now. It looks like the tide has definitely turned here in Widowmaker's favor, and we are seeing what the Widowmaker is made of here. American Mad Dog reaching out to the fans for, for some love and some support there. Let's see what the Widowmaker got in score for him and jamming that knee again down into the mat. Widowmaker trying to take out both of Mad Dog's legs, trying to take out both of his knees, and trying to make sure that Mad Dog is not going to come out of this match on top. And now he grabs him by the choke chain and drags him up to his feet. And that's where that choke chain could be very dangerous for Mad Dog. He's gonna go for a body slam here. Oh, wow. Widowmaker, seven, almost seven foot tall, slamming the American Mad Dog. That was quite a ways down for the Mad Dog to go. Mad Dog reaching out to the fans, but I'm afraid they're not going to be able to do him much good in this position as he is draped over that second rope and Widowmaker with the choke. Referee forcing a break there. Here comes Widowmaker off the ropes. Oh, right on top of him, that pounce that the late Mad Dog Vachon used to be so, so prone to use. Full body weight by the Widowmaker coming down on the back and neck. Oh, the American Mad Dog, his throat stretched across that rope, choking the wind out of him. Widowmaker dropping the elbow on the Mad Dog. Widowmaker out to show us what he's made of, wanting to prove that he can move his way up the ranks here in NAWA, big time pro wrestling in Waxahachie, Texas. Referee speed bump with a close eye on the attention as the Widowmaker continues to work on the legs, on the wheels of the American Mad Dog. Mad Dog pounding the mat more than tapping out. I don't think he, I don't think Mad Dog is one to consciously tap out of a match, but at some point he's got to decide which is more important, making it through this match or wrestling matches in the future. As the Widowmaker continues to work on his legs. Uh-oh. Knee breaker by the Widowmaker. Oh, Mad Dog's in some serious, serious trouble here. Shaking hands with a member of the Quebec staff visiting us tonight, receiving an award before bell time. An award from NAWA for the staff at Quebec, 1390 in Waxahachie. But it's Widowmaker who, once again, has the advantage counting right along with the referee. And before the referee can get to five, he releases, but on his own terms. You know, I've, I've, I've seen American Mad Dog so far twice reach out to the fans and, 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 and imploring their strength and trying to gain the strength for them. Certainly the American Mad Dog needs to get, corral that energy, needs to get this crowd behind him now as the Widowmaker is firmly in control of this match. Now Widowmaker looks like he's setting up Mad Dog. Irish whip across the ring into the corner. He hits hard. Oh, look at this. Mad Dog got out of the corner, got out of the way. Widowmaker hits nothing but turnbuckle. And now it's Mad Dog looking for that second win here. He's whipping Widowmaker in the corner and following up. Another whip. He turns it around. Sends him into the corner once again. And he does it one more time. Oh, a big belly to belly suplex by the Mad Dog. I think All Mad Dog can Mad Dog looking large and in charge right now with the Widowmaker. A speed bump with only a count of two. He's on top for the cover, but what a tremendous belly to belly suplex. One, two. One more, one more count of two. Mad Dog wanted a three count, but while he was having words with the referee, the Widowmaker clearly took that, took that opportunity, took that momentum to turn Mad Dog over, and now he's got him in a chin lock. And there's no submission yet from American Mad Dog. American Mad Dog trying to find strength, trying to reach his fans, trying to find strength. Right here at the NAWA Arena. Trying to collar his fans out there. Much like the Widowmaker has him collared right now. And again, that's the disadvantage of wearing that choke chain collar into the ring for Mad Dog. I know it's very, very symbolic for him, but it can be very dangerous as well, as it is right now. Big uppercut by the Widowmaker. Uppercut by the Widowmaker. Widowmaker, oh, stepping across Mad Dog with all his weight. 
And the big man, as you said, uh, bull man, close to seven feet tall, packing a lot of weight on that frame. Picking him up by the choke chain once again. And a headbutt to the top of the head, but oh, Mad Dog. I, th I think it hurt Widowmaker more than it hurt Mad Dog. Widowmaker doesn't quite learn his lesson, maybe he has now. Headbutt to the chest by Mad Dog, and another one. Got him back up in the corner. Tied up the arms, and a series of headbutts. Snap mares him. Snap mare by the American Mad Dog. American Mad Dog with a short, with a, with a short headbutt to the Widowmaker. Now it looks like the momentum has changed direction here. The Mad Dog is now in control. Widowmaker's strategy of using a headbutt on, on the American Mad Dog has, has totally backfired on him. And a boot to the gut. And a sweep of the legs by the American Mad Dog. Big leg drop. Series of moves very well done by the Mad Dog. He says he's not done. Well, he might do well to put Widowmaker away while he can. Otherwise, Widowmaker could possibly come up with something. But here's Mad Dog up to the second rope. Counting away on him. Trying to get the height advantage, but Widowmaker fires away, rakes the eyes. Now let's see what the Widowmaker is going to do. He's got that leg over the shoulder. Oh, my goodness. Oh, an unusual move if I ever saw one. That probably separated the knee right there. Well, you know, Rob, that, that move not only not only affected the knee, it probably affected the hip as well. And now the Widowmaker with the American Mad Dog hopping on one leg. Oh, and he takes that leg out from under him once again. And Mad Dog, already with knee problems from his football career, having even more knee problems here tonight as a result of this contest with the Widowmaker. Widowmaker going after that leg once again. Now once again, he's gonna hook that ankle, bar the leg. Putting pressure on the knee, and maybe turning him over into a half crab. Got all that left leg and oh, drop some knee first. High up in the air, drop it in the throw that knee. That can dislocate that kneecap in a hurry. Mad Dog doesn't give up, but at some point he's got he's, he's got a hard choice to make. An ankle lock now by the Widowmaker. This could be a submission. Widowmaker asking for a submission. Thought that hand was cocked and ready for a tap out, but Mad Dog's gonna fight it for as long as he can. These fans are barking for the Mad Dog. Now the Widowmaker releases that hold, picking him up by the choke chain once again. Oh, the American Mad Dog with a chin buster on the Widowmaker. Can the American Mad Dog make it back to his feet, Rob? That's the question right now. He's back to his feet, but can he stay on his feet? He's basically got one good leg, and that one good leg isn't all that good itself. Firing away with the right hands off the Widowmaker, the taller opponent of the two. Big slam there by the big, uh, big Mad Dog. Back up to the corner, he says American it's Mad over. Dog. Let's see what he's got in store now for the big Widowmaker. Back up to the corner, he's getting into a three-point three stance. Look out. Warming his knee up, trying to keep that knee, trying to keep that knee solid and not. Uh, oh, Widowmaker goodness, ducked a down. Widowmaker again with a low, with, with a illegal block below the knees. Took that leg out from under, Mad Dog, and now if Widowmaker is going to make his move, he's got to do it now. He's got him up for a slam. Oh, and he just drops him, and that one, I think, is going to do it for Mad Dog. Two, three, and the Widowmaker wins this one. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the first match a pinfall, the Widow Maker.
Live, baby. Send me the next victim. <laughs>